Hey folks, I'm coming at you today with another fabulous free belly dance lesson. Today we are focusing on one of my favorite belly dance props, the silk veil. So I absolutely love dancing with a veil. While mostly an American invention, I find that this adds so much to a routine. It is so graceful, it is so floaty, and it makes the dancer just glide on stage when it's done the right way. When dancing with a good veil and when you feel very in control, it's almost like having another dance partner on the stage with you. And so it's really fun to play with the veil, create shapes with the veil, and just kind of float away with the veil in general. So today I'm gonna take you through a couple of my favorite veils tricks and we're going to build a little combination that you can use in your next belly dance piece. So a couple of technique housekeeping notes to begin. This is how I'm going to be holding the veil for this particular combination. Typically when I set up with the veil I bring it behind me to make sure that I have grabbed it evenly and it drapes about the same length on each side. I personally grab my veil between what I call my scissor fingers, between my index and my middle finger, and my thumb is not at all involved. I find that when I work with the veil this way, I can really get a lot of lift and a lot of float in the veil because I'm holding it with the longest fingers in my hand and really allowing my wrist work to get air underneath the veil. So once again, I have my arms inside the veil. I'm grabbing it here with the scissor fingers. You'll see that my index finger is on top and my middle finger is underneath. There's lots of other ways that you can do this, but this is what works the best for me for this particular combination. When I set up, I take the veil behind me and I make it nice and taut across my back. So you'll see it's a straight line across the back. There is no slack in it. I make sure that it is a taut line when my arms are almost fully extended because it's rare that I straighten my elbows in belly dance. I'm almost always here with a slight bend. So I wanna make sure that I have that taut veil behind me when my, when my elbows are slightly bent. I find that if I grab the veil any further down, I start to get a droop in the back. A lot of the movements don't get quite as much lift and then I'm always wrapping my veil around my head, <laughs> which is not the goal at any point in time. So I find that keeping the veil fairly taut behind me to begin with ensures that it's just the right length for the majority of the tricks that I'm going to do and that I don't end up looking like Casper the Friendly Ghost at any point in time during my routine. So let's look at two technique ideas before we put this combination together. This first movement I'm going to call the superhero. I don't know, I just made that up because when you finish this movement, it looks like you're wearing a cape and we are all Billy Dance superheroes. So let's look at this. The veil is gonna start behind us. Let's just look at the mechanics of the arms. My right arm is gonna initiate by moving up around my head from the back to the front. Once I bring it here to the front, I'm gonna do what I like to call stir the pot with my arms around the front. So my left arm is coming in towards me, my right arm is going around, and both of my arms are tracing a clockwise circle until they have switched positions, right? From here, my left hand is going to go onto my right shoulder. My right hand is going to continue that circle, but come up above my head from back to front and land here on my left shoulder and voila, I am belly dance superwoman, yes? So if I unwind this to get back to where we started, here we are again, back behind us, yes? So if you reset up, let's look at that again. Right arm is coming up over the head from back to front. Now I'm stirring the pot, I'm going around maybe like one and a half times in the clockwise direction. And then it's almost like my right arm is threading through here as my left hand comes to my right shoulder. Right arm keeps going around, palm ends up going towards the ceiling to take my arm all the way around until the right hand lands there on the left shoulder. And so now my arms are crossed and my right arm is over my left. When I land here, I keep my elbows fairly lifted so I don't squish myself here, therefore connecting my uh, jewelry to my costume, which is never fun, right? I'm keeping it lifted and nice and poised up here, right? From here, where we're actually going to let go of this is we are going to lift it straight up over our head and then bringing our arms back down, you'll find it magically goes back to where it was. You don't even have to unwrap yourself to get out of this trick, which is kind of fun. Yeah, so once again, right arm comes up over the head, arms are stirring the pot, left hand comes to right shoulder, right arm continues going around, right arm lands on left shoulder. You have a moment here to do anything you might want to do, and then arms are coming up and out and down, yes? As we do this, I'm always saying that when we work with the veil, I encourage you to think of it as a dance partner as opposed to a prop 
that you are manipulating as you dance. So I like to think of dancing with my veil, moving with my veil, and dancing as though we were waltzing together on the stage. So what we're going to add to this is a little bit of a lunge left and right as we do the initial part of the movement. So I'm coming here. Let's think about lunging to the left as I bring my arm up over, and then let's bring our, our lunge over to the right as we stir the pot, and then we'll bring ourselves back to center as we bring our superhero cape to the back, yeah. So again, if I'm here, I'm gonna lunge to the left, to the right, and maybe back to the left and to the center, but you'll see I'm dancing, I'm swaying, I'm playing with the veil, which is so much more interesting and so much more enticing than I you know, move the veil around me. It, this in and of itself is pretty, but it's a little bit less juicy than if I move with the veil. So let's do that one more time and then we'll move on to our next technique idea. So once again, stepping out with my left foot, leaning, letting the head go, taking it over to the right, taking it back around, taking it to the center, settling here for now. Very good. So this next little bit of technique is called the juggle. There's a couple of different ways to juggle, both in front of the body and behind the body. And today we're going to be doing the behind the body juggle, which is really quite a bit of fun. So we're gonna start one side at a time to kind of get you used to this idea. Once again, my veil is set up the exact same way with it practically taut across my back as my elbows are almost straight, but not quite, using those scissor fingers again. Thumbs are not involved whatsoever. What I'd like you to do is flip the left side of your veil up over your shoulder from back to front by doing a bit of a circular motion in your left arm, like this, voila. Yeah. Then I would like you to take it off by just reversing that motion. So you're going to be doing a circular motion with the left hand from the front to the back to take the veil back off the shoulder. Same thing here on the right. Let's go ahead and take it from, actually from back to front, taking it around here, voila. And then we can take it off by taking it to the back, correct, yeah? So let's do that again on the left. We're going back to front, flipping it forward, and then front to back to flip it off. And then the right, once again, we're going back to front, flipping it forward, and then flipping it back. I'm aiming to kind of catch the veil on my shoulder, if at all possible. Sometimes it'll wrap up my arm or my elbow. You wanna give it an oomph so that it ends up over the shoulder, ideally, because that's gonna give you a really pretty line and we're gonna be adding some turns in here. And the closer it is to your neck, the more secure it'll be in your turn. So as you flip the veil, really try to think about flipping it big enough so that it ends up here on the shoulder. And that flip really has a very upward quality as well. So I'm tossing it up and letting it settle on my shoulder and really at no point in time am I pulling the veil down. So I think up and over and settle as opposed to perhaps doing like an up over and down. So don't yank your veil down, think about lift and settle because then you allow the veil to get as much air as possible and float back onto your shoulder so it gives it more hang time and it's more beautiful and easier for you because you have to use less arm muscle, right? So now we we'll put the pedal to the metal and we're gonna do both sides at the same time. So as one arm is flipping on, the other is flipping off. We'll go ahead and start with the left so the left gets to start by itself and it flips on. But now when we flip it off the left, we're gonna flip on with the right. And this is the juggling portion, right? We flip off the right, on the left, and then it's a little bit like patting your head and rubbing your belly because your arms are going in opposite directions, right? So as one flips off and goes backwards, the other flips on and goes forward, yeah? If you get tangled up, just come back to your basic here and let's start again, starting with bringing just one on and then switch, and then switch. So remember thinking up over catch, up over catch, up over catch. Beware of coming up over down, right? You don't need to pull it down. You really wanna think up over, it floats. Up over, float, right? You wanna give the veil as much opportunity, especially if you have a pretty silk veil that really catches the air nicely. Give it the opportunity to float down on its own. If you have a chiffon veil, you can also do this trick. You might have to loft it with a little bit more muscle because they're slightly heavier. If you have a semicircular veil, you can also do this trick, but you won't get quite as much overhang. You won't have quite as much wing going on on the other side as you do this, but still totally feasible, a little bit more challenging because you have to be sure 
to get enough of the veil over the shoulder so that it stays there briefly before you switch to the other side, yeah? So is this working? Up over catch, up over catch. Really think of lifting up and coming to neutral, being shoulder level, up and shoulder level, up and shoulder level. Let me try to show this to you without the veil once just to see if that is helpful to you. So my left when I flip it on and I flip it off, right? My right when I flip it on and I flip it off. So now I think on and I switch and I switch and I switch and I switch two more times and I switch. Making sense? Now let's go ahead and dance with that movement, right? So we're not just flipping it on and off our shoulder. Now we're gonna dance with the movement. So what we're gonna encourage you to do is to think of leaning on the side opposite of where you are flipping your veil onto. So for example, if I flip onto my left shoulder, I'm going to lunge onto my right leg thusly, yes? And then when I flip onto my right shoulder, I'm going to lunge onto my left leg. So I'm taking a nice wide stance. I'm lunging with a little plie, lunging with a plie. I find when I lift the veil, when I get that little launch, I might come up onto my toe to think about lifting with the body. So once again, I'm dancing with my veil. I'm not just flinging it around, trying to get it to do what I want it to do. I am, I'm helping it, right? I am dancing with it. So I am lifting up a little bit, maybe tiny little releve perhaps and then settling into a plie to let it catch on my shoulder. Up over catch, up over catch. Maybe my chin even lifts up because everything is lofting. All of that energy is going up to the ceiling and then I plie to catch, up over catch. Let's try a little faster if that feels good. Once it gets going really fast, I find it's a little bit easier and a little bit more floaty. Up over catch, up over catch. I even might get a little bit of an angular change in my body angling slightly left, slightly right, slightly left. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, one. Nice. So let's go ahead and put together the combination. I have no particular count for this combination because I want you to float with it and play with it and play with the tempo. And then that way you can layer it on top of any music you would like to use. So we are gonna start with our superhero just like we did it, lunging to the left, taking it around, coming around, stirring the pot, left hand to right shoulder, right hand to left shoulder. And I'm gonna end here with my right foot extended because where I'm going to next, going to next is just to walk down stage right as I unfurl my superhero walking down stage right, probably four steps. From here, I'm going to toss the veil over my head and walk back. Now you notice I'm dancing with the veil. So as opposed to like tossing it over the head and walking back, I loft it over the head, I said goodbye to it, and I'm walking back, right? As I walk back, maybe I'll add a couple of shoulder rolls in there so I can continue to dance with my veil dance partner. Yes, I'm taking it up and over and rolling those shoulders back as I come back to center, right? So what we have so far is we are going around to the left, around to the right, left hand to right shoulder, right hand to left shoulder, yes, and then walking to the right, tossing and walking back. Once I get back to the center, wherever I'd like to be, I'm going to toss my veil once again behind me. As we do this, our arms were open. Let's think about closing them, opening them to the back, right? So closing them, lofting it up, opening it to the back. As you open it to the back, as it's falling behind you, you're gonna sneak that left arm into our juggle, right? So I am lofting up, opening up, and juggling. So there's a moment before it starts to land where you do that quick little flip of the left hand front to back so that you can get it onto your left shoulder. So you're lofting up and whew, taking it over to the on the left, lunging to the right. Then we'll go to the left, then we'll go to the right, yeah? And then we're gonna put in a couple of turns. So once again, as we were going to the back here, tossing, catching left, Right, as we go on to the left, we're gonna sneak under it and get a barrel turn in there, yes? So whatever kind of turn you would like to do, if you'd like to make it a barrel turn, you're gonna think about 
dipping that right arm down, left arm up, and tracing like the, the hands of a clock. You're tracing a circle parallel to the mirror with the down happening here. You're at like six o'clock and noon. Your arms are going to maintain that 180, and you can get a little bit of a lean forward. How much you do is totally up to you, almost as though I'm turning around and trying to keep my head connected to the mirror the entire time. Your goal here is for the arms to trace a circle that's parallel to the mirror the entire time, thusly, yes? So you'll notice my arms, if I made my center right here, I'm at like nine and three, and then I'm at noon and six, nine and three, noon and six, back to center. As I do my barrel turn, I'm gonna think about that right hand scooping down to six o'clock as I begin. So once again, coming from that, from the juggle, we are going to go onto the left, onto the right. As I go onto the left, I'm gonna shift my weight and then come back right over to do the, to do the spin here and around into that barrel turn again. Onto the left, onto the right, and barrel. Yes, again, onto the left, onto the right, and barrel. So the and, I put my weight onto my right, and then as I barrel, I put my weight onto my left to turn counterclockwise. Now, you can end it there, or if you'd like to do a little bit more turning with me, we'll do a barrel, and then we'll do a flat chenet turn. So we've done here our barrel, then we'll flatten it out, and then we're gonna drop the veil after that and do what I like to call the butterfly. The arms are gonna come up, and when I finish, like my end position with my hands in that butterfly is here, I flick the wrist, my palm comes to the ceiling because what I'm aiming for is for the veil to almost like connect in like butterfly wings above my head, so I'm giving my wrists a little flick at the top, boom, so that the veil comes up into the center, and then I let it just loft back down. It just sort of floats back down on its own. As I do that butterfly, I'm going to create a passe here and turn so that my right hip is here to the, to the mirror. So as I'm coming into that position, bam, and you can hold that. That's your Kodak moment. Ta-ta. So let's go ahead and walk that entire combination, starting with the superhero. We're going around the left, Stir the pot, left hand to right, right hand to left. Then I'm walking down stage right and tossing over, coming back to the center, bringing the hands together, open up, catch it. One, two, barrel turn, chenet turn, drop, butterfly. Yeah, let's try it again, nice and slow. Like I said, there's no particular count to this, so take your time. Let's try it a little bit slower. Here we go. And left. Right, left hand, right hand, and walk, chest is lifted, and lean forward, shoulder roll. Hand center, open, catch left, catch right, and turn once, maybe twice, drop, pose.
And there you have it, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this veil combination. If you have, please click like and subscribe to my channel so I can send you more awesome belly dance videos on a regular basis. I would love to know, do you dance with a veil? What kind of veil do you enjoy dancing with? And please, 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 if you use this combination, I would love to see it. So please send me a note, send me a video, have a fabulous day, and keep on dancing.